Hi guys, we are going to solve this problem in two ways. The first is to multiply the parenthesis, that is 2 times 3, and that will give us 6. Then we solve the exponent, that is 6 square, and write the equation as it is. Next, we do 36 divided by 6, that is 6, and we have plus 4. 6 plus 4 gives us 10, and that's one of your answers. Now, in the other method, we're going to solve the exponent that is 36 divided by 2 times 3 plus 4. Now we'll do 36 divided by 2 and that's 18. 18 times 3 plus 4. 18 times 3 gives us 54 plus 4 gives us 58 and that's another answer. What do you think? Which one is correct? Is it 10 or is it 58? 58 is more consistent with the common customs of mathematical expression. So we'll go with the answer 58. Ambiguity is commonly considered a flaw in writing. For example, we have some English expressions here. I saw a man on a hill with a telescope. It means there's a man on a hill and I saw that man with a telescope. Next, I saw a man on a hill with a telescope. Here, I had the telescope and with that, I was watching the man on the hill. I saw a man on a hill with a telescope. Here, I am on a hill and I saw a man with a telescope. Just as you have English expressions that can be interpreted in different ways, there are also mathematical expressions that can be ambiguous. If you don't write them in a way that the reader can interpret them correctly, then you can have any answer. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.